Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And, of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. Hi, Wally. Rick. Oh, hi, honey. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, I haven't got time to talk with you now. I'm going in to have a little chat with the dean. Well, don't forget you promised to drive me over to the meeting tonight. Yes, I know. I'll be there. And remember, you said you'd help me carry all that stuff. Yes, I know. And don't forget Tuesday night. Look, don't plan too far ahead. I might not even be around Tuesday. <laughs> Okay, okay, don't push me. Oh, come in, fellas. Uh, thank you. Sit down. This will just take a minute. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. I know you're busy and so am I, so I'll get right to the point. I've been checking over the scholastic averages of the various fraternities, and unfortunately, your house isn't doing too well this semester. Oh? I know you have a number of excellent students who consistently get good grades, but apparently some of the others aren't doing their share. I don't have the individual records here, but I'm sure you can find out without too much difficulty just who isn't pulling his weight. Now, you know, if the average doesn't show a marked improvement by the next report, your house will automatically go on social probation, which means no social activities for the rest of the term. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I can assure you we'll call a meeting about it right away. Uh, yes, sir. We'll take care of it. Uh, we sure will. If there are any goof-offs in the house, we'll find out who they are. Well, good. Perhaps you can work out a more efficient program with the chairman of your scholarship committee. Oh, uh, yes, sir. That's the first thing we'll do. Uh, yes, sir. That's the first thing we'll do. <laughs> Appoint a scholarship committee. <laughs> What's going on in here? Well, most of us are trying to study. In the middle of the afternoon? Are you kidding? It's almost dinner time. Well, what are you trying to do? Spoil your dinner? <laughs> Come on, Wally, knock it off, will you? Well, what's wrong with all you guys? You heard what the dean said. You were there. Oh, so that's it. Don't let the dean worry you. That's just his annual threat. He tells the same thing to everybody. Yeah, I bet he does. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. He just had us up there today because he wanted somebody to talk to. He sits up there in that little office and gets lonesome. <laughs> We'll take your word for it. Now relax, will you? Okay. Hey, fellas, how about a little game? What'll it be? Five card draw? Seven card stud? How about a little showdown? A uh, jack. The big eight. A little lady. War. Hey, Rick, ace bets. Uh, later, Wally. Uh, Jimmy, ace checks to you. Forget it. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Anybody care for a walnut? isn't so bad. Well, what are we going to do about it? Well, the bylaws say we can find a guy who won't study. Well, that won't do too much good with Wally. He'll borrow the money from us to pay the fine. Well, it's pretty obvious we're going to have to do something about it or we'll never get our grades up. Yeah, it's hard enough to study as it is. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Well, you're just in time. We're having a little impromptu meeting. Oh, well, carry on, boys. Who are we talking about? What's her name? Uh, believe it or not, we're discussing an entirely different subject this time. Okay, I'll check with you later then. Hey, wait a minute, Wally. Maybe you can help. Sure, what's your problem? 
Well, uh, we kind of figured the reason our grade average is down is because it's so darn hard to study around here. Yeah, I've noticed that too. What do you think we ought to do about it? Well, it seems to come down to this. There are a couple of guys... Uh, one in particular. Yeah, one in particular who keeps goofing off and it makes it that much harder for everyone else to study. Oh? Uh, we're trying to figure out what to do about it. Uh, do you have any suggestions? Well, yeah, tell me who he is. I've been looking for somebody to play cards with, or checkers, or anything. <laughs> Come on, Wally, it's no joke. We don't want to go on social probation. Let's hear your opinion. What would you do about a guy like that? Well, I'd drum him out of the fraternity. Tar and feather him. Ride him out of town. That is, if I thought you were talking about somebody else besides me. <laughs> Look, we're not trying to put you on the spot, but if we all hit the books a little now, it'll save us a lot of trouble later on. Yeah, and if you can't settle down to study, maybe it'd be better if you just get out of the house. Get out of the house? I don't mean permanently. I mean just while we're trying to study. Well, what about Wally himself? We gotta get him studying, too. Well, that's part of the idea. Maybe if he's alone with his books for a while, he might get bored enough to open them up and see what's inside of them. What do you say, Wally? Well, it might be worth a try. At least it's better than tar and feathers. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make you a good offer. You can come over to my house and we can both study there. Hey, that sounds like fun. Oh, well, not exactly fun. I'm really gonna hit those books. That is, if I can find him. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> Way to go, Wally. Come on, Rick, before I change my mind. Hey, uh, Wally, uh, give me the cards. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, what do you want the cards for? Because we're going to study. We're not going to play cards. A harmonica. Radio. And the comic books. Comic books? Yeah, comic books. That's not fair. You know me too well. Boy, how long we've been studying? About 15 minutes. <laughs> well, don't you have a test coming up in a couple days? Yeah, three of them. Well, so do I. Let's get to work. I guess I am kind of a goof-off, but I just can't seem to help it. Well, you get by. Yeah, sometimes I wonder how. Anyway, I want you to know I really appreciate what you're doing for me, Rick. Well, actually, I'm not doing anything. Well, sure you are. Having me over here at your house, studying with me, it's a big help. Oh, good. I know I have a tough time buckling down and studying, but things have a habit of distracting me. Just don't let them. Oh, I'm not gonna, from now on. Hi, boys. Oh, hi, Miss hi, Wilson. Tom. Come on in. Hi. Uh, don't want to interrupt your studying. Oh, that's okay. We were due for a break anyway. How's your golf game been lately? Oh, uh, uh, not too bad. I'm a little unhappy with my short game, but I'm hitting the ball pretty well off the tee. Uh, Pop? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead, fellas. Uh, drop in any time, Mr. Nelson. All right. Gee, your dad's a nice fella. Yeah, he sure is. Uh, come on, Wally. not her fault. That is, not entirely. Well, I thought you were going to study with me. Well, I just came down for a glass of water and I got a whiff of this apple pie. It was just too much for me. Besides, you can't study on an empty stomach. Are you kidding? His stomach's never been empty. Yeah, I'd like to keep it that way, too. <laughs> well, it's about time for a break anyway. Well, here's one for you, too. Oh, thanks, Mom. Hello? Oh, yeah, uh, just a second. Uh, Wally, it's for you. It's Ginger. Oh, thanks. Uh, hi, Ginger, honey. You haven't forgotten about tonight, have you? Tonight? Yeah, you promised to drive me over to that meeting. Oh, holy smokes, that's right. Hey, listen, honey, I'll be right there. You'll be right where? I'm supposed to take Ginger to that meeting tonight. Well, you're also supposed to be studying tonight. You got a lot of back work to make up, and I promised the guy. Okay, guys. okay. Uh, just a second, honey. Look, I can't tell her I'm studying. She'll never believe that. Hey, wait a minute. You're almost finished, aren't you? Well, yeah, why? Uh, will you do me a favor? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, thanks, Rick. Uh, listen, honey, I'm kind of hung up studying tonight, but Rick said... Uh, studying. You know, with books. <laughs> anyway, Rick said he'd take you, if that's okay. Oh, fine. Uh, bye. Well, she said it's okay with her, if it's okay with you. Yeah, it's okay with me. Now, wait a minute, I'm not so sure it's okay with me. Remember, she's my girl. Well, I'll try and keep that in mind. Now, where do I go? Uh, pick her up at the sorority. She has to take a punch bowl and some cups over to some meeting or something. And remember, she's my girl. Okay. And yeah, thanks for the pie, Mom. Uh, have fun. Thanks. Now, wait a minute. That was only a figure of speech. <laughs> oh, hi, Rick. 
Hi, is uh, Ginger here? She sure is. Come on in. Oh, thanks. Ginger, Rick is here. Hi, Rick. Oh, hi, Ginger. I hope this isn't putting you to too much trouble. Oh, no. Well, might as well get started. Tell me the truth, though, will you? Is Wally really studying? Believe it or not, he really is. Oh, thanks. Hey, let me get that for you. Oh, thank you. I guess I'm a little too used to Wally. <laughs> keep Wally on this project. Well, it's not only Wally, it's the whole fraternity. We're going to keep at it till we bring our grades up. In other words, it's going to go on for quite a while. I mean, especially for Wally. Well, he's got a couple of tests on Monday. We'll see how he does. Well, personally, I'm all for it. But I was kind of counting on his help this week. I've got all kinds of things to do. Well, we'll try to work something out. How far is this place? Oh, not very far. We're about a half hour early anyway. Well, how come? Well, I guess it's my fault. I always tell Wally a half hour early, so we won't be more than a half hour late. Well, now that we have a little time to kill, do you want to stop off someplace and have a cup of coffee? Well, I'd love to, but I forgot my wallet. Are you kidding? It's on me. Oh, good. It's usually Dutch with Wally. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, maybe we ought to keep Wally studying as long as possible. <laughs> Congratulations, Wally. You have a way to go, Wally. Oh, thanks, fellas. Hey, uh, what's that? Congratulations are in order for Wally. The professor asked him a question, and he knew the answer. <laughs> yeah, and he even threw in a couple of footnotes to go with it. Well, that's great. Oh, there's really nothing. Any Phi Beta Kappa could have done the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did the professor say? Well, he was a little stunned, but he managed to finish out the lecture. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Keep up the good work, Wally. Oh, thanks. And uh, keep him in your house, Rick. We got a lot of studying done last night, too. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I can take a hint. <laughs> Well, I guess I better get going, too. I promised Ginger I'd meet her down at the mole shop. Hey, wait a second. Are you all through for the day? Well, no. I've got a free period and then history. Well, don't you think you ought to go over to the library and study? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Yeah, but what about Ginger? I don't want to stand her up. Well, I suppose I could go tell her you're studying. Yeah, but I promised to have a malt with her. I'll buy her a malt. Well, now, wait a minute. Don't spoil her. I just said I'd have one with her. I didn't say I'd buy it. <laughs> OK, I'll see you later. <laughs> OK, so long. <laughs> well, now, let's see. Which way is the library? <laughs> That was a great dinner, Mrs. Nelson. Oh, thank you. Of course, I want you to understand that this study program doesn't necessarily include a free dinner every night. I know. On the other hand, it is an excellent way to get me here on time. <laughs> Should have heard Wally today, Pop. He was a regular quiz kid. Well, good for you. Oh, thanks. You know, I kind of like the idea of knowing the answers for a change. You can sit right down in front. You don't have to hide behind your book. I have a feeling you aren't quite as bad as you say. Well, maybe not. But I do think that studying is doing me a lot of good. Want some more coffee? Oh, no, thanks. We have to get upstairs and hit those books. Well, get him, the new Wally. <laughs> Come on, now, no goofing off. Well, you go on up. I'll see you in about an hour. Well, where are you going? Uh, over to the sorority. Ginger's chairman of some kind of alumni dance committee, and you were supposed to help her hook up the PA system. Well, I'll do it. You don't have to get stuck with that kind of stuff. That's okay. I'm all caught up on my studies. Yeah, but if you go over there, who's going to make me study? Oh, don't worry. Pop's going to check on you every half hour, and Mom's going to bring you a Toll House cookie every time you finish a chapter. I'll see you later. 